Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create a book trailer video on a Chromebook. In fact, we're going to look at two ways to do it. Now, the first thing we need to do for our book trailer is to collect some images that represent our book. Now, the book that I'm going to feature here is a book called Snow in the Kingdom, written by Ed Webster. It's a book about climbing Mount Everest. So I'm going to use photos for class to, first of all, gather some images that are related to the book that I've read. So I'm using photos for class. And one of the nice things about photos for class is that when my students find images here and they select the option to download an image, all of the attribution information that they need will come with that video or with that image. And there's another image, we'll download that one. And that one. Now I want some other things from this site for my book trailer video. I might want a picture of a mountain climber. So we can grab that one. And we'll use that one as well. All right, so I have a few images here. And now let's go and use the video editing tool of choice. In this case, that's Stupaflix, which you can find at stupaflix.com. Let's go and make a free video. And we'll use the classic theme. I find this one to be the most flexible of the themes. I'll log in with my Google account. There is a Stupaflix for Education version, which you can also get here at studio.stupaflix.com slash English education. We're going to make my video here. Let's just call it my book trailer for Snow in the Kingdom. Now let's go and Add an image. And you can see here, we can import from a variety of places if I have images in one of my own personal accounts, or I can upload from my computer. And so let's upload those five images right now. Once they're uploaded, I can drag and drop and shuffle them around into any order that I see fit. All right, so my images are uploaded, and let's start with this picture in the front. And we'll move that one to the end. And this one doesn't quite fit with the rest of the theme, so let's just go ahead and delete that one altogether. Now, if I want to duplicate any of these, as you can see, I can duplicate that. 
Now let's add a title slide. Let's choose the length of time for which that will be displayed. And now let's drag that to the beginning. And you can add as many slides with text as you need throughout here. So if you wanted to add some title slides as transition pieces, you can certainly do that. As you can see here, I can now add my text overlay. And again, you can repeat that as many times as you need. Now let's add a soundtrack to this. If you wanted to use your own audio narration, you have to record that separately and then upload it. Or you can browse their library of music and add it into your video. All the music is Creative Commons licensed for you to use in your video projects. You can now preview it or produce it and save it. We'll make this in standard definition. And when it's done, I'll receive an email that my video is ready, or if I have the patience to wait, I can wait and watch the process happen here. And once I have that confirmation the video is ready, I'll be able to share it in a number of ways, including embedding it into a blog post or website. Now, while we wait for that video to finish, we'll take a look at another option for finding free images for your students. Previously, we looked at photos for class. Pixabay is another option and all of the images that are in Pixabay are available to download for free from the public domain. The one exception being that the first line of images here are advertisements for Shutterstock images. Everything below that is available for you to download. So let's click on that image and you'll see right there, free for use, no attribution required, and you can download it in the size that you need. And now we're back to Stupaflix and my video is done. You see all the ways that I can share it through social media, embed it, send it to YouTube directly or Vimeo, or download a copy to store locally. So that's one method for creating a book trailer video on your Chromebook. Another option is to use the very popular Adobe Spark, which you can find at spark.adobe.com. And let's take a look at how that tool works. I'm going to log into my account. I'm using my Google account here. And once it loads, we'll use the option for creating a video. So to do that, click on the plus symbol and select add a video. And we'll call this one the same, Snow in the Kingdom. And we can choose a template, teach a lesson template, or we can tell a story. One of the advantages of Adobe Spark over the previous method 
is that there's an integrated image search that your students can use. So let's say our students wanna add an image here to this first slide. They select photo. And they can go in here and conduct a search for photos that are again, licensed with Creative Commons. And we'll add that into our video. Now, our students can add additional things on top of this. We can add text. And one of the other convenient features here is that our students can record themselves by just holding down the microphone icon and talking over the slide. This book trailer is about Snow in the Kingdom, written by Ed Webster. Your students can still apply music to the background if they'd like to, or turn it off. And when they're done, they can share their video projects in a number of ways, including making it public, and again, once the video is processed, they can share it by embedding it or just giving a link to their finished product. So those are two methods for creating book trailer videos on a Chromebook. And by the way, to record this entire screencast video, I've used an extension called Nimbus Screenshot, which you can find in the Chrome extension gallery. There's my finished video, which I can now embed, tweet, email, or even download. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out free tech for teachers.com.